The United Nations has for the first time revealed the nationalities of peacekeepers accused of sexually abusing children in the Central African Republic. The suspects come from Bangladesh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Niger and Senegal. Last month, an independent panel condemned the UN's response to the allegations as seriously flawed. With me is Mary Harper. Mary is the BBC's Africa regional editor. The last thing anybody thinks of when they think of UN peacekeeping is that crimes like this would be committed. How long has it been going on? How long have we known about it? Well, what's so shocking about this is in the Central African Republic, these kinds of allegations have been going on for a number of years. Uh, there's been allegations against French troops, against European troops, and also against United Nations peacekeepers. And in fact, uh, shockingly as well, the um, UN says that the number of cases involving uh, allegedly involving children went up to 69 for um, last year and that nearly a third of those cases were in the Central African Republic and in, and the UN um, Assistant uh, Secretary General Anthony Banbury when he was making these announcements was extremely emotional. It's hard to imagine the outrage that uh, people working for the United Nations and for the causes of peace and security feel when these kinds of allegations uh, come to light. Um, particularly involving minors, which are so, it's so hard to understand. The United Nations is doing everything The United Nations is doing everything we possibly can to assist the victims, to bring accountability and justice for them, and hopefully to prevent these cases from, or any such cases from recurring. So Mary, these are international troops, but uh, where potentially, if there were to be prosecutions, would those happen? Those prosecutions are supposed to happen in the countries where the troops come from. So, for example, France has already launched uh, criminal investigations against troops who were accused some time ago. Um, in these latest cases, Bangladesh says that it's investigating. Niger and the Democratic Republic of Congo have so far not engaged at all, so the UN is continuing to try to put pressure on them. But it just shows how very difficult it is, because even if they're committing these alleged crimes against children, um, while they're serving as United Nations peacekeepers, they will have to be prosecuted in, in the countries that they come from, which does make it harder, because those countries won't really want to acknowledge that these kind of crimes have been committed. These guys in their blue helmets, they perform such a critical task all over the world. Does this have implications for where they may go in the future? I think they have to be invited by the host country, right? Yes, and, and it is um, an issue that is, doesn't, has not only happened. I remember the first time when I became aware of these kind of allegations was in Mozambique mm. more than a decade ago. So uh, this kind of abuse of children, alleged abuse of children, has been going on for years and years. But at the same time, a lot of the countries that are affected by this kind of violence, they don't really have the capability or the regional forces to protect their civilians. And so they're stuck between a rock and a hard, a hard place. Mary, thank you very much indeed for that analysis.